cheap ass bitch. I'm so sorry. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, the butchiest queen I know, Plastic Tiana. Hi. Oh my gosh, girl, you are here. You just flew in, and we're here to do a get ready with us. Very simple, five minute makeup, running to the grocery store, nothing crazy. Yeah, just top and bottom lashes, a little bit of decency with the outfit today. And I thought I would share someone special that I've been such a fan of on my channel and get ready with her and just talk about our past, our present, and our future and share it with you all today in a get ready form drag style. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and follow her on Instagram and let's get started with this video. All right guys, I am here with none other than my sisters, Plastic Tiara. Hi. Guys, we're gonna do Get Ready With Me and I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna start beating our face. It's gonna take a minute. Miss Thing had covered her brows. What is going on, honey? Girl, she got a cover to take the man away and for the woman to come in. See, I'm gonna save that um, for later because I have no patience. I just got back from Fashion Week, hence the Ursula nails. And Miss Thing just flew in all the way from Texas, Vietnam. Let's make it more like, you know, drama for the channel. Anything for your Vietnamese followers? <laughs> Cảm ơn các bạn rất nhiều. Um, xin các bạn hãy giúp tôi bởi vì Patrick Star hôm nay đã cướp tôi tới đây. Tôi không biết tôi ở đâu. I basically just said you kidnapped me. And please oh. help. <laughs> <laughs> well, without further ado, let's beat our faces. She's prepped. I'm wet with skincare because that's the, that's the tea. That's just how it's supposed to be. Yes. Girl, she can use her real eyebrows or she's a real woman. I guess. I can't do that. Well, you have really, really good brows. Girl, I try using my real brows and I look like a Neanderthal. No, your brows look so sickening. So I saw you have full coverage foundation. Look, I'm like being so Girl. nosy in her kit. I'm so proud. Love, love. Everyone needs this foundation. And drag staple, she has these too. So we're just gonna walk through what you use and I'm just gonna mix a bunch of foundation. Together. Together. So this is the Patrick Star. Oh my god, this is this is it. You'll see <laughs> the whole process. We got I've some... been watching this through her screen for so Girl, long. Girl, shut up. It's nothing special. We've known of each other for too oh, yes. long. Oh yes, so how we met. Well, we met on Instagram. <laughs> I know, was it D U C? Oh my god, you're gonna fucking expose me. Oh no. Is that, is that? No, is, is that... She, I have no idea what she's talking about, y'all. This what is, is it? Some... When she was a photographer in high school. See, I think I connected with her a lot because like I was a photographer in high school and I was doing Photoshop and getting into makeup and then I stumbled up uh, across another you know slender fishy Asian like herself like myself mm -hmm. on Instagram and I just remember this boy doing makeup you know commenting doing drag I remember your teal wig honey clock at the house oh my here. god you were doing photography taking pictures of your classmates I was taking pictures of my classmates too mm -hmm. your mom and you were doing the whole works and you were getting into drag Years later, you popped up on my timeline, and I was like, "Oh my god, um, who the this, fuck? is this the same woman?" <laughs> Literally, ten faces later, ten it was faces later, we're still here. I love it, and literally, guys, if if you want to stalk her, just Google Plastic Tiara Drag. She is a death dropping, twirling, flipping girl. What I'm so impressed by is like how you get into drag, and like what turns you into plastic. And we had lunch earlier. We had some udon. So I asked her, I was like, like what makes you plastic? Because there's, oh, like each drag queen, there's something that makes you, like for Patrick Star, I think it's like my turban. Mm -hmm. And for you, you said it's your hair. It's my hair. And when the lashes come on and when the hair comes on and when you move like this and the hair does all the work, it's done. It's I'm like so Sasha for Beyonce. I'm so excited to see this like in person in the flesh. Girl. Okay. 
can't wait for you to be disappointed. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm no. So excited. Girl, it's so crazy because it's like a full circle moment. I followed you from the beginning and uh, you are literally one of the most sickening people. Oh my gosh. To girl. me. Like Thank you. ever. You built yourself from the ground up and you worked for everything that you have. So. Uh, thank you. You know, it's really cool to see like people transform. I love transformation and guys follow her on Instagram. She's so sickening, painted, photography, hair. You're a professional hairstylist too. I yes. am, I am. Uh, gotta make them coins uh, so I can have four drag, hello. Mm -hmm. And you start with your brows. I'm using the good old Krylon TV paint stick. What color for you? For W, because it has like a pinky undertone. Okay. So it helps cancels out the green and the blue of can the I man. Can I point out something? Like she has this for her brows, right? I would never, right? Like this is just too freaking small for me. Like I can shove this in my nostrils. <laughs> and then guys, she has, I feel like this is like oh, is what you see in the mukbangs, like those huge <laughs> quail eggs. I don't know. This is like an, not quail, ostrich egg of a, of a, this is. Oh my God. I really am so into this. I want, look how, Look how big this is. That is the size of this my This is face. a traditional beauty blender right here. And then this is this. This is the body blender mm -hmm. from Real Techniques. Real Techniques, that shit. Get Guys, I'm gonna convert on. to this because of her. So everyone snatch Real Techniques. It's so, so good. I, I mean, I haven't tried it, but my eye is like, I need it. You're gonna love it. Your skin looks so clear. It looks like you have foundation on, girl. Girl, you do too. So she's starting with her eyes and Miss Thing, what are you using? I'm using the one and only Patrick collection From the me. freaking vault. From the vault. The, uh, the other vault. From the vault. She had to get it from the vault for me. <laughs> the real vault. I was like, <laughs> I'm just here to steal her stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I, I love it. You're using Embark. She's starting with her eyes and I start with my face. Mm -hmm. But um, as she does her eyes, I'm gonna do my brows. And today I'm using the Brow Contour Pro by Benefit. This is a new thing. It's like one of them old school pencils here. So there's a highlighter shade and it clicks here. There's a, a lighter oh shade, a deeper shade, a definer shade and a highlighter shade. That's actually sick thing. She She's cute and you could twist it and I'm gonna just go in and I'm in the shade brown black deep and I'm gonna use my real brows today because I'm lazy because she's a woman because she's a woman mm -hmm. and then how long does it take you to do your full geesh my full get up? geesh like two hours but for makeup or just full like hair body everything I can get ready everything in two hours but what does what's what's like a good good two and a half would be like okay I'm feeling really? myself uh -huh. I'm like a I'm like a three. If I, if I think if I were to, mm -hmm. if I were to like Kiki and Kai Kai and like oh. drag and stuff, but it's very rare. So when are we gonna see another appearance, Miss Thing? Oh, you know she did. She did. She, right? she did. She did. She, did. she, did right she now. did. But she cute. And for those of you that don't know or anyone knows, who is your mother? My mother is the one and only. She's always back, 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 back again. Even though you wanna vanquish her, Miss Alyssa Edwards. Sickening! The only. And share with the kids how you and mother met. Okay, so I was a baby queen. I always wonder like how people meet like their mother. Like, do you just like apply? <laughs> <laughs> like, Girl, you I you did send, apply like, once upon I a love time. like Roxy. So it's like, would I like send in an application to like apply? Like if like if you're like a young like a young boy, like, or do mm -hmm. you just like be seen in the scene? Like, what is the protocol to being in a house? Like I never knew that process. Mm -hmm. And you're so young. You are 21. I am. And mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> so you met in drag. It's not like you were a boy and you're like, mm -hmm. I want to be your daughter. No, right? I met in drag. This was me like one year into doing drag. I was a baby queen. So I was booked to do... At 19, you said. At 19. Okay. I was booked to do this event to raise money for the pulse victims. She was already booked and busy at 19, honey. Girl, okay. no. Mm -mm. Okay, and then mm -hmm. you were doing a charity event for Pulse, yes. and then you bumped into her and you had your hair laid. I had my hair so laid, and she was like, I wanna buy this off of you. So, of course, me being a little fangirl, I was like, oh my god, Alyssa Edwards, yes, take everything off of my body. And I started doing her hair, and from that day on, she was like, I want you to be in the house of Edwards. And I was like, Done, set. And then what is it like? Can you reveal like is there hazing? Like, <laughs> is, like a, is there like a drag like boot camp? Like what is a house like? Oh my god, they make you go through like a paddleboard ray kickball chain marathon. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> so I just wonder what it's like in the house. Because like, you guys are in different cities, right? Mm hmm No, but Miss Alyssa is always, always on the road, always busy. Too booked to be bothered, mm -hmm. like you said. But she always makes time to talk to me whenever I need her and she's a 
really kind-hearted person. So That's really freaking cool. She's one of the coolest people I've ever met. She is so snatched. Oh, girl. girl. Don't look too close. Don't look <laughs> Same. Well, Patrick, mm -hmm. you just walked for the blonde. Oh my god, I, I haven't talked about it on camera. It's just so crazy. Okay, sorry. But like, how do you feel? Like, I feel it's so crazy because like, I think the whole week, I mentioned this on my Snapchat and my Instagram, the whole week it was literally like my second single launch, my second music video, my fourth Mac collection, and I was asked to like walk in fashion week at the blondes. It's just so crazy because I'm not like the conventional like model beauty, and it was just really such an honor to just walk and have been asked by them and it was really really special that was nervous sickening i saw the instagram because i didn't tell you because we were playing no! i just i just got back last i mean yesterday and i didn't tell anybody oh my god i was like i saw them on their instagram and i texted her i was like how dare you not warn us before you do this girl that's how Crazy. we do you're next girl girl you'll be next honey we're about to go crazy rich asians on these hoes all right mother is cutting her crease with what a Kevin you, McQueen. And what is that called? The skin enhancer? Yeah, the sensual skin enhancer. <clears throat> I really like it. It's literally so full coverage. Literally so full. And you're cutting your it's creature. Paint. It's like, paint. It's paint. It's legit. spackle. Spackle. Like, yeah. you want more spackle than, like, the Coral on TV paint stick? Get this shit. Mm -hmm. this my makeup artist uses that on me, like, for um, makeup Ari. She'll use that, I think, on my face to, like, really stamp me mm -hmm. for, like, special events. And I want to address this, too. A lot of people are wondering why I use a makeup artist for special things. Mother, if I'm sweating, if I'm like dripping and I can't see myself behind the monitor that's why I think people get confused like you're a makeup artist how come you don't do that I think it's just better like when you're on set to have a professional eye look at things because the last thing you want is to be dripping sweat have a wonky lash be teary so that's that's the tea on having a makeup artist as a makeup artist but girl the audition process to, to do my makeup is hefty because my face is flat and she's uh no an egg an organic egg I wanted to talk about too for all the Asia followers out there cool. like Miss Plastique on her confidence because you're so young you're probably gonna get this a million times like where does your confidence come from like your family like does your family know you do drag you also have a boyfriend I'm like throwing all the questions at once I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Go, Patrick, answer 30 seconds. Um, it's so funny, you know, because, like, I was the most nervous, scared little kid, little Asian kid you'll ever meet in your life. Because I came over here with no English, no nothing when at I was 10. At 10 years old. Nothing, not even know how to say hello, culture shock, everything. So I didn't even know being gay or, like, doing drag or putting on makeup as a boy was possible. In my hometown, like, being gay was you're bringing shame to your family, your family is cursed basically mm -hmm. coming here finding out that was possible and realizing that I'm gay and mm -hmm. that and that you love art you and love that, makeup mm -hmm. but at the same time I'm my family always taught me to like not be the thing that would make other feel uncomfortable Mm -hmm. or would make them feel shameful. So mm -hmm. I had a fight with myself for the longest time because, you know, I was the embodiment of whatever they taught me not to be. So you you were holding, like, all the shame? Because I think on, like, watching queens from, like, RuPaul's Drag Race, like, Kim Chi and... Who was the one last season? Oh, uh, Yuha. Yuha. Like, it seems to be like- A running theme. A running theme that they have to hide it from their family. But mm. I'm Filipino, so I feel like we're more modern. Westernized. And westernized. Mm -hmm. You know, Philippines, I feel like, is so. So you just went for it. I did. I turned like a 180 and started drag. Be like, I'm gay. I'm going to do whatever I want now. And what was it? Was it YouTube? Was it a drag queen that inspired it was, you? Like, it what was, was it? RuPaul's Drag Race. You too. Because I was like- Girl! Uh, yes! No, I was watching you and then I was like, well, he's Asian and mm -hmm. he's doing this and he's blowing up and he's achieving his dream. Like, I have the rights to do the same, uh, you know? Thank you. So, and you, you, you're like the embodiment of following your dreams and self-made and everything yes. like that. So, girl. Thank you. And I think what I want to recognize like on my platform is that you... You can't do it alone. I think when people want to do YouTube to like become popular or to become like something bigger, it's always like, I gotta do YouTube. I gotta do, like talk to my camera. I gotta like do followers. But I think at the end of the day, you really have to connect and find a community that's for you. Mm -hmm. And early on in when I started, you know, I had friends that did what I did. That's just how it started. And I think finding a community, finding a group really, really helped. Mm -hmm. And connecting online, offline is just everything. 
For sure. And drag really helped me with that too, because mm -hmm. through drag, I found the people who had the same interests. Wait, were... so clock it really quick. You were like sneaking out the house in drag? Yes, girl. I. 19. I'm the... Okay, Eight... so, so now I'm piecing it together. So your parents didn't know you were gay. You came out at 16. At 19, you met Alyssa. Mm -hmm. And you were you had your little backpack and duffel bag, girl. Girl, I couldn't do makeup in my house. So I would literally pack all my shit, go to the club, hide in the bathroom, do my makeup, go out and sign the little sheet to do amateur night and perform in drag. Wow. That's how I would do the whole nine yards. My mom wanted me to be a nurse too. Something really? In the medical, yeah. Anything in the medical field. And family. speaking of support, you also have your boyfriend. Yay. Who actually, small freaking world, that has done so Peter's hair. So Peter got head for the first time, Ay. aka a color head <laughs> blow <Ay>. out. <laughs> Wait, show them your hair. Come. Peter. Let's say hi to Timmy. Three Asian and one makeup tutorial. Oh my god! Yes, so Peter got his hair done by so your good. boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Was it before you were dating? Around the same time, I think, because we just celebrate our one year. <laughs> so yeah. Awesome. So talk about your boyfriend and what it's like having a man in drag, because I'm sure like a lot of kids would love to know. I'm so lucky to be able to find someone who he's in love with drag. So he loved artistic people. He loved the artistic aspect of it. He cleans my shit because I'm the messiest bitch ever on this planet. Hello. <laughs> uh, so he packs all my stuff, he organized my outfits, he mm. curls my hair for me. It's uh -huh. like whenever I feel down or whenever I doubt myself, he's always like, mm -hmm. you know, you can always rise from this. You're plastique. You create your own platform. So, mm, that's you're, so nice. you can overcome this. And he's just, he's just great. Mm. Does he have any brothers? Girl. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I will play matchmaker for oh, you. Yes, honey. Keep it in the family, you yes. know. Yes, we'll really be fast. <laughs> this was my girl all along. <laughs> Girl, she's a, she's a Edwards, honey. Can Watch you imagine? Out. Always. Always and forever. Uh -huh. <laughs> On brand, hello. So, Patrick. Mm -hmm. You've done so many great things mm -hmm. in your career. What's the biggest moment? Like the biggest moment. I know you have many big moments, but what's the moment that you were like, okay, I've made it? Early on, I, I don't think I told us, like my parents really wanted me to go to school and not work. But then I went behind their back and applied at Panera Bread. And I think one Sunday I couldn't go to church with them. So I was like, they're like, where are you going? And I was like, I have an interview at Panera. And they were like, what? It was kind of like a bitchy thing to do, Ooh. like looking back then. But I wanted to prove to them that I can work and now show them that I could work online and do that and like I think when I had my first collection with Mac and like paying it back to them and naming a lipstick after my mom and then so uh, you know naming an eyeshadow after my dad I think resonated with them that you know yes I had my first collaboration with Formula X the nail polish and I've been on TV I've walked in fashion but I think it was just really that full circle moment where I could celebrate with them mm -hmm. and just tell them what I'm doing mm -hmm. is not just for me but for all the people out there watching mm -hmm. and all the kids and they get messages too and they're so so proud but I I think it's just that full circle moment that, you know, I think when it comes back to family, it's not the money, it's not the fame, it's really just like me saying, hey, look, mm -hmm. I did it. Yes. Was, was, my, was my moment. Yes. The thing is like, Patrick is like so real in person. <laughs> as I have all this. As, <laughs> as she got all this going on. But yeah. you're here to inspire. You're here to make people happy. You're not just here to for the fame, for the money. Whatever you lie, we do for you. Uh -huh, okay. Yes, honey. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna go in and bake now with my powder. What's your color? What do you What do you use to contour it for the kids? Uh, just this is Anastasia. Uh, cool golden stick foundation, Anastasia. Oh wow, you now are like almost the same color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I told you. What is that? This is Danessa. Oh, Danessa uh, Myricks. Uh -huh, vision. My girlfriend's a fan. Bro, it's Toto. My Please send me all your shit. Yes, I love her. I'm a message. People are probably clocking why I'm using Airspun because, girl, we're sold out of Patrick Star Powder, so I'm just trying to save as much as I can of it before she disappears. <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Look at what the fuck your face <laughs> look like, honey. <coughs> Secondhand baking. I felt all of it. <clears throat> Was that the recipe to becoming a woman? Mm hmm. Thank you so much. I'm already learning so much today. You already look so fishy. Thank you so much. And I'm over so here looking much. like a fucking dry ass egg. Not a dry, not a dry one. <laughs> I look like a dry egg. Like you roll the egg in baking powder. Are you ready for this? You, you use it to blend the whole thing. 
Mm-hmm. Oh and my it's god, done. so fast. Oh my god. Oh wait, so what you dip in? The full coverage. Oh, so you do all that under, mm -hmm. and then you put this over NC35 full coverage foundation. Yeah. That's very Scott Barnes of you. That's what he does. That's what he does? Yeah. Like on JLo and stuff, he'll contour under, oh. and then do that over. I just feel like I'm using less product if I'm doing it that way. This is the trick. This is where the table turns. Honey, and I'm the booty guru over here. The booty guru. Oh, yes. I don't got no booty, so you need to teach me how to be the oh, booty honey. guru. I have belly, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so as of now, your parents and your family, do they know you do drag? Um, One night, my grandma like found tights. Mm. In my room, and, and she, she thought it was a girl. She, she, no, she was just livid. Really? Uh huh. Because she raised me in Vietnam for ten years. Because my mom was living here with my stepdad. When she found out that I was different, it um broke her heart. Because she your grandma or your mom? My grandma. Mm. Because she's. A very religious Vietnamese lady, very nice, very sweet. You know, it wasn't her cup of tea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I stopped wanting to do drag, and I didn't want to do it because it hurt her so much. Mm -hmm. In your culture, or just growing up, is it like a thing where, when it comes to like a problem, is it just like unspoken? It's wrong. That there's no explanation, no if, ands, or buts. Mm -hmm. Being gay is a, it's a taboo in our household still. Mm -hmm. Even if I bring my boyfriend over, I just mm -hmm. introduce him as, hi, hi, this is Tim, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. Like if our family members, like relatives come over and be like, mm -hmm. hi, this is Tim. Mm -hmm. But he's allowed over. Yes, okay. yeah. Cause at this point they can't stop me, so mm -hmm. hey. But so interesting. I think also with me growing up, if I were to do something wrong, mm -hmm. it would there would be like, I guess it just depends on the family. And that's why I want to stress like to people out there like ways of learning like some people learn best via speaking some people learn best via talking so if you are a parent watching or if you are someone that would like to talk to their parent I think analyzing how they learn best and how they receive and I think growing up with my parents they learn by speaking and so I didn't want to keep shouting all the time and when I had to tell my parents like this is what I want to do like with makeup like this is what I love I'm making money I'm doing people's makeup people love it I'm not hurting anyone with what I'm doing you're hurting me by saying that my makeup is you know because your parents would be like oh your makeup is too orange this was, this was like back then like oh patrick you should stop wearing makeup that foundation is too orange on you but i told them like i'll never learn how to be better if i don't try i had to tell them said you know what my feelings are very hurt and i feel upset and so i think you have to kind of like when you're communicating to someone like learning that's why i ask and that's why i'm so curious mm -hmm. to see like what is it like in your household we're very small mm -hmm. therefore we're very close my mom like we sat down together and i mean she tolerates me doing drag but mm -hmm. she she said she will never accept it but I had to accept the fact that that's okay mm -hmm. you know even your family like if they that's their opinion if they don't like it they don't like it mm -hmm. but at the end of the day she said she still loves me I'm still her son Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think as long as you have reassurance and time, mm -hmm. that's what it's gonna be. You guys see Mama Star and Papa Star. It took time to pull them around the <laughs> corner and around the block to say welcome to the Star Triple R. And I think once they saw people coming up to me and being inspired and just different walks of life and people coming up to them in Orlando, I think it really, really gave them a different perception of, of how I was doing. You're on Smoking, liner? yeah. Oh, she's smoking. Smoking it down. The only thing what can we do here is on our ass? Because we are what? Asians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of lit and this glitter called Addicted and Acro. Put on my lid. Oh my god, the same exact one! Twins! Oh my god. It's not, it's not like I watch her videos or anything. Shut up. Literally, we're wearing the same glitter. I didn't even plan mm -hmm. that. So Patrick, when are you gonna be a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race? Girl. I believe I've never seen the show. Bull fucking shit, bitch. Bullshit. You guys should see see her perform. I've been watching, girl. You have reveals, honey. Girl. She does reveals. That's she all be I can dropping, do. kicking, flipping, switching. So I feel like in Texas, like you have. To I want to go to a show. You should. Oh my should god. Should we just? Should I take a weekend over there? Yes, please. You have to go to the Rose Room. The, the Rose Room. The Rose Where, Room. What what city? Dallas. The biggest Rose club. Room enough. I want a crown there. Alyssa want it. Asia want it. What, what, what's what pageant? Rising Star. So it's like, kind of like the first step into pageantry. And I was the youngest winner to win it. I won it when I was. Oh, 18. she had to put that in there. You heard that, kids? I won it when I was eighteen. 
18. What? Oh, wait. I, oh, what? 19. 19! The I, I want a pageant too. I'm not joking. <laughs> no, it no. It was called Miss Closet Ball in Parliament House in Orlando. Yes. All my Mac coworkers made me do it. Yes. Literally, my girlfriend is here from Mac in Florida. She's nodding her freaking afro. Like, yes! Not the afro! All, they all called me Ruby because of Ruby Woo. And it's funny because I have my own lipstick now called Patrick Woo. Is that reveal into the dance routine? I can't remember like, Wait, the order of operations. If you play the you fucking play the pi piano, remember? Are it? you exposing me right now in drag? Yes. Girl, I like how Tony, <laughs> this is Tony, you guys. Wait, that lovely. I'm done. Ready? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> Who was she? I don't know her. She is resonating within you. I hate you! <laughs> Am I ready for this? So, we need to watch this together! No! no. So this is the closet ball and you had to come out as a simple... <laughs> <laughs> this is like Patrick's style like you've never seen before. <laughs> I'm so dead. Wait. I don't know if I can put this in this video. Wait! Oh my God. Wait. Wait, turn it back on! I hate you so much. This is fucking sickening. So this is the closet ball that I won. You have to come out as a boy in the pageant. It's a masculine role in society. You have like literally an hour and a half to turn into a drag queen. And then there's gown, there's talent. Oh! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god! I'm so embarrassed right now. No, this is so good! <sighs> what a way to introduce our guests. That was sickening, sis. Are we popping Tony's air mattress? <laughs> Not the air mattress. I'm like still so gagged. Gagged at what? Everything. <laughs> this whole experience has been a journey. Look, guys, she literally just landed this morning. This has been very enlightening. You're literally at the Patrick Star Museum. <laughs> I'm using Give Me Life. Give Me Life bronzer. Probably gonna be my new favorite bronzer. Love, love. Look how orange my face looks! <laughs> you look way more fishy than me. I'm kind of upset. Girl, shut up! When do you start to feel plastic cum? Like, is when it the like lashes hit. Lashes hit. When the lashes just, hit. I think for Patrick starts when my foundation and everything is on. Yeah. When, when, you, start, when I start to contour. Yes. I use the spoon to curl my eyelashes. Is that weird? Really? You can't clap it. You really use a spoon. Uh -huh. Like hella old school. Uh -huh. Girl, you're so beat. Girl, <laughs> I'm so Kate right now. I love Don't look too close. No, it is Don't look no. too close. It looks so good <laughs> in person. Girl, shut up! Girl, no, it looks no, so good. You look in so person. good. Girl, I didn't even curl my lashes. <laughs> if you're not putting on bottom lashes, you're not a woman. <laughs> I'm over here looking like a clown. You didn't. Uh, and you're looking like <clears throat> plastic. A boy <laughs> with lip gloss on. I love it. Oh my god, you look so fishy. Wait, I feel like I'm missing highlighter. I need to put on more bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done. Are you? <laughs> I don't know. How about you? Oh my god. <laughs> I go. Would you like some setting spray? <laughs> The makeup remover. <laughs> oh my god, you know, um, Oil Sheen? Mm -hmm. One of my drag friends, like, when she was in a pageant, mm -hmm. like, her competitor was like, does anyone have a setting spray? She handed her the Oil Sheen and went like this. And then she had to touch up her whole face all over again. And she was like, oops, I thought it was makeup setting spray. And that girl that offered the Oil Sheen was you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I love the pageant, bitch! <laughs> That's how she won! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna change Plastique and Patrick and we'll be right back for the finished look. Alright everyone, this is the finished look. Mama, you look so sickening the house down. Boots, sandal, Crocs, honey. Thank you. <laughs> you look... Girl, She's look at like, this. You look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, she got her breasts done in the 30 minute video. Yes, girl, and this lace, this hair, this makeup, this beat, the lips. 
the cheeks, the skin. Guys, isn't she so stunning? I had to see this in person. How was your first Star Studios experience here? I have dreamt of this moment for such a long time. I've been, we go way back. Yes. So I've been following you for such a long time. I'm a huge fan and you've honestly been such a huge inspiration for me. Aww. So this was a pleasure Thank you. and an honor. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your story, your everything, your truth. And I hope you guys enjoy her. Please follow her on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys want to see more videos with her, with me, with us. And I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> I don't have any, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hit. Oh, can I get some ice in this? Oh, sh oh. Come on, girl. You are such a bad fucking <laughs> servant. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Star, my truth. How many fucks do we get? None. How many fucks do I get? Ew. To this. <laughs> um. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I'm a little sensitive there.